Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mateos. I am a GIS like analyst and uh, we focus in forestry and I work with GIS in remote sensing and I am friend of the guys from Orbify and they just asked me to do some review on the platform and to like play a little and build some apps and in this video I will show to you more or less one of the apps that I built and explain you more, more uh, how you can do this in your own platform your own account and share this app with your friends so basically here we have like the Orbify website I will directly click here which I already have like my page open here it's the the apps that I already did and I'll talk about a little bit about this short time growth in, in agriculture but just to you to know here you can click add a new application so you can create a new application here you can put the name that you want so for example uh, let me put here um, uh, MDVI and here you can put like the description of the thing so you can put like um, calculating so calcul Lay in the NVI and just click create and this will create your app uh, here you can select like more or less the type of the category that fits your problem so you can just click general next and here you will have the earth engine uh, where you can use the earth engine API to build apps so you just click finish and this will then show you here this area where you can click workflow Earth Engine Open Code Editor, and here you can start to do your own code and to play around. Uh, so, based on that, like I will click here. Here it's like one of the codes that I made based on the estimation of NDVI in different time periods. Uh, I will like do a quick guide through the code so you can understand what I did and you can also see and replicate by yourself. Um, here I import the packets, the necessary packets that we use here. Uh, I create my own functions here as in the G, G API. So here it's one function to add indices to Sentinel to image. So we have here the NDVI, the NDMI, MNDWI, and a lot of them. So I just put like these. This is like one of the functions that I keep in my hands every time so you can like replicate it it's not complicated to do it here i create a function to mask clouds so this function will be will uh, able us to replicate and to mask the clouds on the image uh, on the sensor to image so it's quite powerful and very useful to create the composites um, all these functions like are public available and you can also put here more indices if you want uh, so here it starts like the function to display the analysis on the orbify app uh, here you have like the selected date so the dates would be basically the dates that you select on the user interface uh, the region that you draw uh, and here it's quite simple here's like select date it will pick up the, the, the date that you select and the month based on that date and based on that like what we will do is this app is picking up the NDVI of the current month so the month that you select and the previously two two months like ago so if you chose November the app will pick up the mean composite and DVI for the month of November, October, and September. Uh, so it's not complicated, like it's basically picking up like this mean and DVI of these areas uh, of this month. Sorry, and what we will do, we will put this each composite in one band one in red, uh, one in green, and another one in blue. So if we have something that's like very high on the red band and it's low on the other band it means that was high NDVI on the September 
and then is low in October and November, which can mean that, for example, it's a agriculture field crop that was harvested. So it's quite a, few, uh, a simple analysis. You just need to understand this concept of putting NDVI on our GP like bands. Uh, so here is a code. Uh, I just like create here like very basically thing. For example, if my month, the month that I, that I choose is February. So I need to have like February, January and December so because of that i did this if so to put the predict months so the predict, uh, prediction month uh like two months before the start month is like december so here i put it and i build the app based on that so i have here like the three dates like the date start one month before and second month before uh, in, in two months before and here the same thing if it's january it needs to be december and november uh, of the last year uh, not the same year so here we have like also oh, the three dates of analysis uh, and here is like the normal so the prediction year the months and for example if I choose July it would be July uh, June and May and that's it so here you have also the the, the months like the, the the range of the day like which will be like around the start of the month onto the end of the month. Uh, cool. So here I just set up like the cloud cover uh, coverage as five percent. So to not have any problem with clouds, but we still have some problem. Uh, but I just put this here to to be able to have like better composites. Uh, this is cool because in some way you have like better composites, but in some areas you will not like have uh, image because if the area is very cloudy this area it will be like very difficult to have three following months with uh, with like less than five percent composites so if you will use this app uh, in any specific area uh, just be sure to select one area that or it's not so cloudy or for example uh, you know the months that you have like less raining so the dry months on that area so this will able you to properly see the results uh, so here i create the image one uh, so the image one is using the the month that i will select so in our example july uh, image two is one month ago so june and here may so one to three and I just put like image one, select the NDVI uh, because here like we are putting like the, the the function. So for example, map mask to clouds. So I'm applying the function to mask clouds on my image and also adding in inches. I'm estimating the mean on that area and clip based on the region that I would draw. Uh, here you have like, so the image one, which is like this one, so like the NDVI, uh, I will add another band that will be this one, uh, the image two, also selecting NDVI and putting the name as NDVI minus one and adding another band image three, select NDVI and rename it as NDVI minus two. So this will be R, this will be G and this will be B. So in that case here, uh, everything like I, I change it like the order if we compare with our example that i gave on the beginning of this video uh on the example i say that we will put in our band the image like that is analyzed of this two months ago in that case i am putting like in the r channel the first image so for uh, the, the first image now that the image of this the, the date, the current date of the analysis. So for example, here would be July, here would be June and here May. What does that mean? Uh, it means that for example, if our image shows some red areas, it means that the areas are growing now. So the, the areas has like high NDVI for the current, for the selected month, but has lower NDVI for the previous months. Uh, if one area has, for example, blue, it means that had like 
higher vegetation that area two months ago but doesn't have like vegetation anymore and if one area is green it means that the area didn't have like vegetation two months ago so the vegetation grow uh, like had some growth it's vegetated like one month ago and now it doesn't have vegetation anymore uh, so it can be like, for example, the short cultures, uh, agricultures that you can have like one month, the life cycle of something. Uh, so cool, like basically that, like there's nothing to hurry. Uh, and you can also change this order if you prefer. So you can just like click save your chains, never forget it. Uh, and you can just like create a preview uh, of one area. So I already have here let me just show you i already have here one area of preview i select this area here uh so it's near metal group so sao paulo and blah 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 so you can just like choose have a preview you can just like come here and click create a preview here or you can also create preview come in here and create a new preview so you can just click here i will choose um something in no, of the 2020s so uh up like here august so this will become like the monthly composite of august and july and june and we will calculate the NDPI of the composite of the sentinel 2 image for each month and then put this in our rgb image so we can just click to create a preview and here you can see that's like running so I will do like a quick pause on the video and when it's finished, I will come back and show the results. So here we are and our image just processor like you have here that I created three minutes ago. So it's not taking like a long time to process it. And you can just click here to show our map. And so the image will start to display here and you can see. Uh, so cool uh, basically here you have like these areas and on the areas you can see that like everything's like quite dark what does that mean this being that uh, it had no vegetation and it keep it without vegetation during these three months um, and all the things that's like more white bright gray means that it was vegetated and still have vegetation so probably for example here you can start your assumptions about the, the analysis probably these areas here 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 probably these areas are forest areas because it not presented like so a high level of change in ndvi uh, these areas here are the are, are result of the cloud masking so this was a cloud and my cloud masking function that masked these pixels here uh, and here you can see that like all these plots here are blue you can see like it's very it's quite or uh, squared areas so probably uh, almost sure these areas are for agriculture you can see here like more the circle that's for sure agriculture so what does that mean like as i said my image on the red channel is the current month august uh, the image on the green channel is one month before, so it's June, July, and my image on the blue channel is June. So if it's blue, it means that the NDVI was high in June, and it's not high anymore even in July or August. So probably this was a fuel that was harvested on June. Uh, here, for example, you have like this, this area that is quite of red. What does that mean? This means that this area had no vegetation in June and even July, but have vegetation now in August. So probably this is a type of crop that's growing now. And here, for example, you have this green small circle here, which means that had vegetation only on July, nothing in June and also nothing in august uh so yeah here you can start to do your own analysis on the area on the image and you can play around and just draw different areas 
uh, and it's quite interesting. So for example, here, as I said, probably is a forest. Uh, you can just click here, open application, and these will send you to another tab where you can truly see and have your, your application. So here you have one example of the app like running. Uh, this is one of areas that like you can clearly show that some activity happening here and you can see the different like uh, circle sorry, uh, circle on the on the area so for example these like blue means that had vegetation like two two months before the, the date of analysis so it was like November uh, the red ones means that had vegetation only in January and you can like start to dig in out uh, and look in these and see and doing the assumptions doing your analysis and also know if something's growing or something's not growing properly uh, for example because then the vi not only means that it's presence and absence of vegetation but can also means that your vegetation is growing healthily or not so yeah that's it and i hope that you enjoy it like this presentation and that you can now follow in and do your own code, your own analysis. <laughs> See you.